Today we would like to discuss something very simple. What is the difference between walking and running? Today you can walk, tomorrow you can run. Take it one step at a time. Look at it from the perspective of your dog. If you have pets in the family, a cat or a dog or a hamster or a guinea pig, how do they look at us? I wonder if they want ask themselves, how do I train a biohacker? They see you walking through a desert and they think, ha, biohacker, you have a big challenge today. See, from a dog's perspective, we gotta learn to forget something. And that's very simple. Forget preconceptions, biohacker. Get it out of your system. Let it go. But now you have figured out we are seed sowers, brain train. That means very simple. Tough times never last. Tough people do. And you know why? Because I know out of experience that when you move one step at a time, put your one foot before the other foot, you start moving. I sat in a wheelchair. I could not walk from the pain. I was at one time paralyzed when I was younger. I had to start learning to walk again, folks. And I tell you, there is nothing worse than hurting and feeling incapable of moving. But one step at a time. If you only can curl your fingers or your toes, do it. If you only can walk one step, do it. Because walking today is running tomorrow. So the same with our body. There are a few things that most people don't realize. That whatever you put in your mouth, whatever you put in your mind, whatever you put in your heart, that will come, become eventually a driving force. It will have a tremendous impact in your life and how you will feel. I've got here a little video clip of my two friends that survived coronavirus. They had to bury their mom of 94 years of age, and both of them are in the 60s, mid 60s. They got sick right after or before the funeral. The wife before the funeral, and he right after the funeral. They collapsed in April the 16th, 18th, that was around that time of this year, 2020. And they both went through a terrible ordeal to get over it. But you know what struck me the most? It was not so much surviving this ordeal or going through it but once they overcame the victory once they overcame the the challenge and got the victory that they recuperated so fast that is what biohackers will notice once you start tweaking your health and start taking control over what you put in your mouth and what you put in your mind and what you put in your heart all those little things together will help you beat the odds Does that make you invincible? Of course not. You are subject to society, to influences, to to whatever we are going to face. But I will be like a tree planted on the water side. I will not be moved. That means I am stuck because my roots are planted solidly. Can you say that as well? And if you want to have that, please contact me. I like to share with me my real secret. How can we overcome at the challenge of facing big problems and still coming out a winner? God bless you. And remember, tough times never last, but tough people do.